What's up, bros? Back again in Fantasy Camp 101. That's not my Fantasy Camp, because I have a small apartment. And it's kind of cool. But what we do have here, buy some ribeye. They look like balls. <laughs> I'm all that is man right now. I'm slaying it today, let me tell you. <laughs> this piece of meat is raised on land that is so clean and so fresh that there's nothing polluting the inside of its body. It is literally a working machine. And this cut, when you get in a restaurant, you're paying top dollar for this and now you have it in your hands. And it came in your box. There can be a, literally a thousand ways to make this other than outside the pan with fruits, berries, grains, nuts, kale, all kinds of fun things. Just like any other good steak, we're gonna salt and pepper it first, we're gonna pan sear it, and we're gonna let the action come after that. You guys are gonna look at this and you're gonna think that you're over salting this piece of meat, but what we need to keep in mind is, look how thick this cut is. You have to get salt all the way down into the center of this piece of meat. Be really liberal with your salt. We can add other sauces to really blend in if you think it's too salty. But the most important thing is you guys need to be the masters of your own destiny here on this one. So don't be afraid to actually Really, really, really coat this. All right, now that we've salted both sides, we have to talk about safety brief. Safety brief on our bison ribeyes. This is super, 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 super lean. So when we cook this, this is gonna be a fast process. It's literally gonna be seared on one side for exactly two and a half minutes, seared on the other side for exactly two and a half minutes. That's gonna put us right around mid-rare, mid-rare plus. You guys are gonna have to be responsible adults and you're gonna have to Google mid-rare plus. It's kind of like an inside thing. You ever want to like trip out like the girl cook at a restaurant? Tell them you want mid red plus, and they'll be like, "So here we go." We're looking for all points of contact with the meat on contact on the pan. By moving it around, we're making sure that all parts of the searing is actually happening. It's not just one side. You know how bad I want to tackle a bison. Like I wish that you guys were there to see me really try to replicate in my head me wrestling down a bison thinking I was gonna be Leonardo DiCaprio and The Revenant, but that didn't happen. But the man that raises all these bison will tell you a similar story about his life, which makes this even more special because he has devoted his life to raising bison the proper way and sharing that with all of you. One day, one day my dream will come true. I'm slaying it today, let me tell you. <laughs> so looking like we're almost done here, guys. I think it's important for all of us to understand that bison was the primary source of fuel for a lot of people centuries ago and probably even before that. And now we're starting to bring this into our modern day diet and it's important that we really start to learn and understand this animal and, and what it does for us and what it will do for you. Plating it, add our rosemary butter, and that's it kids. 